There's only one chest in here. Let's try it up here. And what could it be? It is a monomate. Anybody hurt? Nah, I'll just discard it. Okay, you walk over here. Go on the ship. And we're going to the other satellite now, Dahlia. I don't believe there are monsters here. I'm probably 100% wrong, but I don't believe there are. And if you remember correctly, this is where Loon lives. Ah, uh, there's some people. Talk to him. Loon is depressed. It's alright. Ah, uh, arrow parts. The Sky City in Virginia? Cool. Sounds like a cool thing. Okay, they're in the dungeon. Good, good. Alright. Who's this purple haired chick? Wait. Green? Wait, what? Okay, so. We, wait, wasn't her hair purple? That's freaking purple. And yet, it's green. Oh, whatever. Anyway, this is who we bought the robe for. Takara. And yes, yeah, she has robes, thank God. Okay. <laughs> and she has Loon Slicer. Now, slicers attack um, a row of enemies. Not a column, like the Neathers, but a row. And she also has techniques. Okay, so this is our final party for the game. Let's talk to Loon. Let's talk to his wife first. And talk to his wife. Oh, his sister. Okay, that's how they. That's how they. Uh, huh. Yeah, sure. I didn't sleep until they survived. Okay. Well, now we got Kara on our team. And uh, we're going to go down into this dungeon to get the arrow parts. Now, this point in the game, right where we are now, when we're about to get the arrow parts, is where all four of the paths converge. Alright? No matter what path you took, from here on out, all the paths are going to be the same. So... I guess we're gonna get the arrow parts next. Okay, so let's head on and get those arrow parts. All right, now if you're playing, as, if if you played through Niles' quest, these chests have already been gotten. But we have a force crown and a force gear, so let's equip those because I'm sure they're great. Force gear obviously goes to Ren. Force crown goes to Kara. No, no, no. I think, uh, he has ceramic gear, this should be better. Yeah. And, yeah, okay. Let's head on through this place. Let's head on through. Now, there are some strong enemies in here, I believe. Like a Mega Toad. Kill him. I think they get really lousy experience. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. That's still, still pretty bad, but... I thought they gave one experience and one set of but I'm probably wrong. Now, right here is where you would fight someone at the end of uh, Niles' generation. But we're not at the end of Niles' generation, are we? I think not. I have a Lobo Hawk. A Lobo Hawk. He will die. And I know it's more efficient to specifically select everyone to attack, but it takes more time, so... No. I usually fast forward through battles anyway, so bad. It saves you from having to watch them, and saves me from having to shoot myself, so there you go. Now you're gonna wanna walk a long ways over here. 
long ways. And I made the maps myself. Aren't I awesome? I just had a lot of time when I was a kid. A lot of patience and a lot of grid paper. A Laconian gear. Now, did we already have one of those? No, wait. We just picked up a force gear. That's weird. But. But. We'll take. Ugh. This is probably higher defense, yeah. I'm just gonna assume it is because I don't feel like it would be What do we have here? A Laconian bandana. That is for Kara, unless I'm absolutely horribly mistaken. No. Yes. Excellent. Now we're gonna go here. And down here. And fight Megatoads. Go here down yeah I shouldn't get horribly lost in this place like I got uh, like I got lost at the end of generation one Elaconian crown uh crown goes to the lane that's right we just picked up a force crown whatever we'll just sell it it'll be great okay we're gonna go right over here yeah, I shouldn't get lost, because I actually took the time to uh, draw out a line on my map using the paint. Like, the program paint, not not actual, an actual paint. Then when we get in this chest, what did we come here for? Do you remember? Let's find out. The arrow parts. Arrow parts are very good. Now, let us leave. We are done here. The enemies are extraordinarily weak here. Oh man. Why like most of the enemies in here are generation one. It's awful. They're garbage. Uh, I just need to make sure that I need to make sure that I can follow my own line. Because it's a little bit difficult glancing back and forth and somehow staying synced up. I'm gonna try though, I'm gonna try. Alright, and after this dungeon, after we beat this dungeon, um, this is pretty much the last place where there, this is pretty much the last dungeon where there are any, uh, changes between the generations, because, um, obviously if you played as Nile, uh, those two chests in the beginning were gone. That's basically the only change that you're gonna find for the rest of the game, except for very, very slight differences, um, in the ending, but... That's that's neither here nor there. I mean, that, that's basically just you know, a few seconds different, anyway. So uh, you know, it's not the big deal. But uh, I'm probably still gonna play through. I'm probably still gonna play through all of them, just because um, I guess you know the final the final battles will be slightly different. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and just and play through all of them. It's not that long, and uh, your party members will be a little different too. So in my mind, might as well go ahead and play through all of them. Should be right. Yep. See the staircase. Okay. And we're done with the dungeon. We have the arrow parts. And we're finished. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go ahead and head out of, head out of this place. Uh, take the shuttle back to uh, our own. And um, I guess well, what I'm probably going to do is since the game is the same for all for all the four people you could be for right now after this. I'm probably going to go ahead and play all four up to this point, just so I'm going to the same area four times in a row. Um, just so th th there's less of a chance for me to make any kind of mistakes, because I'll be fighting the same enemies, and I'll be like, okay, well, these are all the enemies I'm going to have to talk about next time anyway, so... Um, I'll probably go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to stop in the same place with all of them, uh, directly outside of this town. Okay, so here we are outside of town, and uh, you see that little airship up there? Well, the arrow parts allow us to use those. Am I going to show you it? Absolutely not. Because um, I'm just going to show you it soon anyway. Now, the next place we're going is Frigidia. Remember that flying city over there? Maybe you didn't see it in this generation, I don't remember. But there's a place we need to go in Frigidia. So, um, I guess I could just meet you in Frigidia. Okay, we're back as Sean, and we're in uh, Frigidia now. So, 
let's go ahead and use one of those um, airstrips <laughs> now that we have the arrow parts. Now I know I said we were going to Skyhaven. We're not. We're going there soon, but not right now. Uh, if you notice down in that uh, area down there somewhere, um, there's a little island. If you would explore, if you explored rather well, and uh, we're going to that island first. We're gonna pick up some. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to people. All right. Now that we have the arrow parts, we can do this. Yeah, look how fast we go. Yeah, we can fly everywhere now. So no longer do we have to walk everywhere. We're going to go to this town first. Come on, Ren. And let us see what this town is. Well, I'll just tell you, it's the town of New Mota. And we're going to talk to everybody. Okay, everybody in this town is just lined up right here, so let's do it. Oh, wow. Keepers of People's History. Okay. Okay. So like... Alright. I'm listening. Talk faster. I can't skip that text. It's annoying. Palm. Okay. What's palm? Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, palm was destroyed by an evil being, but... Okay. Sounds like people talking about Dark Force, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Dark Force. Or Dark Fowls in Fantasy Star 1. Now, um, by the way, these are the people that connect Fantasy Star 3 to the rest of the Fantasy Star games. So if you're into that stuff, uh, pay attention. They, they must have been. Alright. Well, good. Apparently they didn't go so well. 400? We're only on one of them. So the entire area that we're on right now is one of the 400. Jeez. How do they have enough raw material to do that? Looks like six to me, but... Well. Okay. It's a lot of freaking land. How do they make all that land? Alright. Oh, not good. Wow, so only two ships remained. Oh, okay. Wow. The Neo Palm, yay, Avenged Star 4. Alright. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. I've got to walk all the way around to this guy. Ugh. Oh, very helpful. Thanks. Here's what they have at the item shop. Here's what they have at the weapon shop. Now, you notice that these are... Excuse me. Uh, these are the best weapons that you can buy in this game. And we're only going to buy... Uh, I think two of them in the end. I think a planar claw and a planar slicer. A planar slicer is extremely expensive, um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get up enough money to buy that at the next area. Not right now, but when we get to the next area, I'll probably go up and get up and buy that. Oh, by the way, the Pulse Vulcan, uh, I think hits everybody on the screen. It's extremely expensive, but I think it hits every enemy, so just so you know. And here's what they have at the armor shop. Now, you'll notice that all this armor is actually worse than the armor that they sell at the Stoke, so ignore it. Okay, we're done with this place. Let's head to Skyhaven now. That wasn't too much of a detour. We found out some. We found out some about the game. Good. I remember where Skyhaven was? It was to the north of Mistoke. So here is Mistoke, and here is Skyhaven. <laughs>